Well, hello there, guys, girls, non-binary people. It's your favorite cracker. It's Reed here yet again. <laughs> if you're with us today, as always, we're joining back by our sidekick. You know him as the box. We also have with us today, people, we have Alexa. Good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1962, the Mariner 2 space probe was oh. launched toward Venus, Venus and a few months later became the first NASA mission to reach another planet. On the way, it also became the first to measure solar wind, which apparently is what happens if the sun has indigestion. It shoots out, uh, yeah, shoots out those energy bursts of whatever plasma, whatever. Anyway, guys. As always, it looks like it's that time. It's time they're exciting. Saying super stop more search food park review. YouTube's only true 366 day a year food park reviewer. People, we have a new monster drink. This is the Monster Super Sport Red Dog. Advanced hydration. 200 milligrams of caffeine. Electrolytes. Advanced hydration. Natural flavors. Vitamin B three and six and 1,000 milligrams of BCAAs. The hell? Alexa, what is BCAA energy? Here's something I found from the article branch chain amino acid on Wikipedia. BCAAs that are ingested before exercise can be oxidized by skeletal muscle and used as energy during the exercise, reducing the need for the liver to increase levels of glycogenolysis. Anyway, guys, we're going to give this a review and see what it's all about. Now, this was $4 at BP. That's where I got it. Four bucks. I was looking for the uh, vanilla Yahoo that was requested, and I saw this. So, still looking for the vanilla Yahoo. I don't want to have to buy a six-pack of it, but I guess I'll have to. I don't think they sell it. I can't find it individually. But anyway, guys, we're going to give this right here a review and see what it's all about because... You know, it's always nice when you stumble across something you've not seen before. So, unless you know you walk in one night and your ex-wife's taking a 12-inch BBC, that's something you don't want to stumble in on. But anyway, guys, we're going to give this a review and stumble across, whatever. Anyway, guys, we're going to give this a review and see what it's all about. I'm thinking it's going to be like a Gatorade. That's what I'm hoping. So we're going to see if this is actually worth $4, people, because that is outrageous. But it is 25 ounces, but still, that's, that's outrageous. We're going to give this a review, people, see what it's all about. If you have anything you would like, read the box, Arch Lux Review, you got to leave a comment below. If we like that comment, guys, might just pick it out and review your request. Next thumbnail, it's a big black and red bottle. You know what that means, people. It's sure to please me and the ex-wife. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alrighty, guys, let's open it up here. Yes. Oh. Oh my. Nine carbs, 19 carbs per, yeah, it's got 19 carbs total, or a little over 19, I think. Eh, I tell you what, people, I see what they tried to do here. Yeah. Even though it has a little bit of sugar in it and all this, people, it does have like a diet like a little bit of a diet flavor to it. I was hoping this would be like a sweeter version of a Gatorade or a Powerade, you know, but they just didn't put the sugar in it. They put 16 grams of sugar in it total and now it's got 19 carbs. And this is a big bottle not to have a lot of sugar in it. So it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of those imaginary flavors, those natural flavors, they say, they're so good. That's pretty good. But it has a lot of those. It says, you know, natural flavors, but come on. Right? Alexa, what is a natural flavor? 
According to First Data Bank, Flavoring Agent is a generic drug whose brand name drugs include Flavor Pack. You get a nice sweet taste at first, people, then it, it really bogs down with the uh, diet flavor that you get. This pretty much has that diet flavor you get in your Bang Energies, those sugar-free energy drinks, like you know any of the sugar-free energy drinks, Bang, the Monster Sugar Freeze, whatever. Uh, it's got that same flavor, even though it has a little bit of sugar in it, it's got that same flavor. You get, I, when I first took that sip, I was like, oh, this could be good. And of course the aftertaste came on and then it was like, well, it's not worth $4. I'm sorry. This is not worth $4. It's not good enough. It's not good enough, people. It's not bad. It's just not worth it, people. Oh my goodness. Monster. Just put some sugar in it. Make it more like Gatorade. I guess they didn't want to do that because it would have been just, well, here's a Gatorade. They made it different. And um, what would be the best way to describe this? I guess like a sugar-free Powerade or whatever. Have they got sugar-free, like the sugar-free Gatorades? I guess that would be the best way to describe it. There you go. Those low carb Gatorades and Powerades. There you go. That's what you can expect with this. But uh, I, I don't like that flavor. But if you like that flavor, this is for you. Okay, I mean, this is not horrible. It's just not worth the price. Four dollars. Three ninety eight people is what I gave for that. Oh my God. Maybe it's cheaper if you buy it at Walmart, but. I bought one. I don't think they'll be selling it in like, they should sell it like in six packs for five bucks, like Gatorade or Powerade. Do that, is it that hard to do? I don't know. I don't know what their idea is of marketing, but uh, anyway, it has caffeine. It's got, they talk about not making it, making it healthier and they put 200 milligrams of caffeine in it. So it's like a Gatorade with caffeine. It's like a sugar-free or a, or a low carb Gatorade, Powerade with just a lot of caffeine thrown in it. I guess. I guess, so there it is, the red dog, I'm gonna give it. Three stars. It's not horrible, don't get me wrong. But, it's too much, too expensive, and the flavor's not there not there people let me know what you think about the monster red dog and I'm just very critical of when I see something like this when you can just stick with the Gatorade or Powerade and be but I guess that uh, 100 milligram 1000 milligram I'm sorry BCAAs and that caffeine I guess that really makes a difference I guess I don't know so there you have it people fuel the beast Take this home and I'll give it to, who? I guess I'll give it to the kitchen sink when I pour it down it. <laughs> well, anyway guys, that's been another episode of the Alimony is due. I mean, read reviews. It's been another episode of read reviews. We'll see you guys as always tomorrow. We're gonna try to do a review every day, people, this year. Uh, 366 days we're gonna give it a shot and uh, you know we've done a review every day pretty much since 2013 the last time I can remember I didn't do a review might have, it might have been 2012 when a big snowstorm hit and knocked out the internet that I think that was the last time I didn't actually do a review I missed today I think it was uh, sometime in 2012 or 13 so we're going on seven years people of of rock hard entertainment, 100% unedited and unscripted. Never forget Burger King either, never forget. So we'll see you guys as always tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and we thank you for watching yet again. Toodles.
All righty, people. Now the first bite, not that bad. All things considered, uh, the biscuit is beautiful. The biscuit's great, buttery flavor. I was making those faces just as a just as a throwback to the last episode we had where we reviewed the uh, omelet. But this ain't that bad. Of course, the sausage, it's not got much flavor. I'm not tasting much from that sausage. Let's take another bite here. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Is it as good as a McDonald's? No, 